was so delicious. Why did you buy it? I just bought it from a Taiwanese self-service cafeteria. But isn't it too much? Can you finish it all? There are so many options in the cafeteria that I can make a decision. That's why I bought so much. But how will you do if you can finish it? Maybe throw them away. In fact, there are more solutions than merely throwing them away. So, today our topic is Solutions for Food Waste. Take on the self service cafeteria as an example. These are all right. Food Pair Survival World in Human Survival. However, in recent years, the problem of food waste has become severe due to abundance of materials. It may be more to unconsciously prevent the behavior of wasting food. To observe the pharma, we take tiny self service cafeteria as an example. They offer customer a variety of food options, but if not managed properly, they can also contribute to food waste. Our aim is to identify the strategies to reduce food waste by analyzing cafeteria operations. Here are our research questions. First, what are consumers' behaviors at self service cafeteria? Second, what are the views of consumers on food waste? Finally, how do people and cafeterias reduce food waste? Next, relevant from process. In the disciple trend, we feel like the same goal of SDGs. Among these goals, our main focus is on the second goal of zero hunger. Poverty our sobriety of food insecurity and trying to address the problem of food waste. In addition, in the project implementation, we know how to make presentations and enhance our own communication skills. Also, in the application of digital technology, we can allow you to create questionnaire and trust. Lastly, in the career guidance and counseling, we will have skills to conduct interviews. Let's move on to our methods. We will adapt two instruments. First, sending questionnaire to our high school participants, including high school and college students, so they post on social media. The other is interview. We interview to owners of self service cafeteria to investigate the measures that have been implemented for dealing with food waste. Let's move on to our findings. First, the data shows the reasons why people choose to have meals at cafeterias. Having many rice dishes, the freedom to choose their meals and affordability are common reasons. Next, the price chart illustrates the types of food people prefer at cafeterias. More than half of people prefer meat, but only few people prefer beans. Therefore, the owners of cafeterias can allocate the appropriate amount of food based on harvest preferences. Next, the bar chart shows people's views on food waste. Obviously, the past three behaviors are considered a waste of food. However, refusing to buy any food only accounted for about 25%, which is also a form of food waste. Moreover, consuming expired food and continuing to eat leftovers are not food waste. Yet, there are still people who voted for these practices. This highlights the urgent need to raise public awareness. Next, the bucket shows most people believe food waste is to economic losses and ecological impacts. However, only a few people think food waste leads to greenhouse effects and water waste. waste. In fact, Food waste is not just about the waste of food, but also about the manpower, water resources, and money spent in the food manufacturing process. To sum up, there is a gap between people's perceptions and actual facts. Next, the bunch of shows the actions people may take to reduce food waste. Buying appropriate proportions is the most popular measure, with the majority of people viewing it as effective. However, Buying army food only has about 20%. In our interviews, both cafeteria's owners reveal that always reduce food waste through dish control. And one of them also mentioned collaborating with manufacturers to reuse leftovers. Based on results, people are less inclined to buy ugly food to reduce food waste. So, we conducted an experiment and advocates the nutritional value of both types of food is not affected by the appearance. In addition, we created a promotional account to raise public awareness to provide knowledge on reducing food waste, hoping that everyone can pay more attention to this critical issue. In conclusion, the problem of food waste is becoming increasingly severe, causing not only climate change but also ecological and economic problems. The results show that participants have a certain level of awareness regarding food waste behaviors. However, some of them fail to understand the severity of this issue. Leading to continue west. So 
address this matter, we propose several solutions to encourage people to reduce food waste. For example, we advise them that the cans can be removed before it spoils. They should avoid buying these. Another solution is to invite people to participate in activities that focus on reducing food waste. Furthermore, self-service cafeteria can collaborate with food supplier and launch promotional activities. Through collective efforts, we can conserve resources, mitigate ecological impact, and pave the way for a healthier and more sustainable future for all creatures. Thanks, United Against Waste. Favor and request. Here are our references. Thank you for listening.